This isn't your mom's P.E. The width of home plate. This is a math class mixed with a science lesson. Good job. That's why it's physical education. That's why we're moving down here. Everybody just thinks they roll the ball out. No way, Jose. But what are the units? At Mabry Middle in East Cobb, students are learning that science of baseball. How to take averages. How to do a lot of percentages. Calculated all of our stats. Our base speed, how fast we went, which we did on the actual bases outside. The curriculum comes from a nonprofit called Science of Sport, which aims to build champions in the classroom. We're going to be converting ratios for a percentage, so please keep count. Not only are they going out and being able to translate this out on the field and become better softball and baseball players, but they can also use these to experience more about the world in general. Cobb County Schools are the first in the Southeast to offer the program. Being able to cross curriculum, uh, the course content from math, science, reading, and be able to get them more excited about what they're doing in PE and get an understanding for why helps bring value to what we do in our classroom. We're going to do straight running and then we're going to do banana running. As soon as they were pitched the idea, Chad Oates' colleague stepped up to the plate to take a swing at the program. It's good for them to see that math class and science class is not just in the classroom with the four walls. I thought it was a very good idea getting kids to actually like not really be in classes all day and go outside at the same time still learning about math and science. There's nothing more exciting than watching a kid go, oh I've got to figure out the math here and they're like, you made us do math. <laughs> they're excited to finish each activity. Like solving this puzzle. Is it faster to run to second base by turning at a 45 degree angle at first or run what's dubbed a banana run? Straight lines aren't really always the fastest. Even though I'm taking a little longer of a path, I keep my momentum going, which makes me overall faster. So far, the Brave sponsored program is at eight Cobb County middle schools, and they're looking to expand next spring to reach even more students. As they go through high school and go through college and learn more and more about how they can take this learning and apply it to all different areas of their life. Uh, then hopefully we're making more successful kids and making a more successful society. Because these are lessons that truly hit home. Sometimes you think that you can just learn it, do it on the test, and then forget about it, where in, in this one you actually used it, and so I won't forget it. So that's the fun part as a teacher, when it does, the light bulb does go off. That's those moments that teachers live for.